Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. We are so excited because there is a new show at Focus TV and it is the Renwood Show. Congratulations, Thank Gorgeous. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so excited. So tell us what is your show about? So my show is something a little bit different that's never been done at Focus TV. I am a comedian and I am from South Carolina. So we're going to be talking, I'm going to be talking to guests. We're going to talk about, you know, experiences in the South, how each person got to LA, what their journey is. And then we're going to be doing some sketches that we're going to tack on to the end. So it's a segmented show. There's different segments. I love that Southern charm. What's it like being a girl from the South living in LA? Oh my gosh. Well, dating in LA is kind of a nightmare. Worst. <laughs> there's, Worst. There's, you know, I was raised, you know, men open the doors for you. They stand up when you are at the dinner table when you're going to the restroom. They're very respectful in the South. And here, I mean, you're lucky I get hit in the face with the door, you know. <laughs> so, like, you just like stand there and I'm like, okay, I guess this door's hitting me in the hey, face. You know what's worse? It's, it's, now it's, I've learned, now I reach for the door. It's because they're so busy looking at their own reflection half of the time oh, in that door that they don't even see it oh, happening. Definitely, at the gym, the gym is a sight to be seen here in LA. <laughs> um, people wear makeup. I go to the gay gym because I don't have to impress anyone there and I don't have to wear makeup. Um, yeah, it's, it's a sight to be seen there. It's social hour at the gym Definitely. in Los Angeles. What do you like most about LA? What do I like most? I like most that you, people, I'm not afraid to be myself here. Um, I can, you know, stretch to the limit and be as creative as possible. And I have a really good support system here. People that, that encourage me. If I have this new crazy idea, there's a lot of people here that support you. Whereas the South is a little different. It's, you know, no one's in the entertainment industry in the South. So they, you say you want to do something crazy and they look at you like you have five heads. So what do you mean you want to do something crazy and you've got five heads? Uh, I mean, I, what are, what is I just mean like crazy. starting the show at Focus TV. Crazy. Why? It's, cra it's not crazy, but it's it's a new idea. I've never done this before. Totally. And I feel like I could only do this in LA. There's so, so much more opportunity. So, so here. question for you. Working with a bunch of like transformational programs, one of the common things I've heard in the rooms over many years of being in you know, hundreds of people's in the room, very common that comedians are trying to suppress, they oftentimes will suppress their sadness and yes. stuff. Have you ever Okay, so this that? is a question that I get often. I had a pleasant childhood. I don't have daddy issues. <laughs> I love my dad. Father's Day was yesterday. I have a very positive relationship with both my mom and my dad. I have three siblings. I have a sister and two brothers. We're all super close. I, I think me wanting to be a comedian comes from, I got my, my dry wit from my dad. And when I was a child, you know, I grew up in a very chaotic household. There was a lot of stuff going on at once. So in order to get my parents' attention, I had to be funny. My oh. siblings were really mean to me. And they would, in order to get them to pay attention to me, I had to tell them jokes. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> we're super close now, but I just always, in order, because they all, all had other stuff going on. And my parents were at their soccer games, their basketball games, their baseball games, and what have you. And then you come walking in. And then I like, come walking in, I'm like the artistic <laughs> one. I'm like, pay attention to me. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. So do you go do stand-up? Oh, and what is it? I do. Yeah, mm -hmm. I so I do stand up shows a couple times a week. Uh, I've got a show tomorrow at the Hollywood Improv. Wow. Perform at the Comedy Store a good bit, and then Flappers in Burbank. I love Flappers too. See, that sounds so scary to me, That's but now so that I know scary. it within the context of you growing up, and it was like life or death. Yeah, I was <laughs> like life or death. I was like, tell me a joke. Hollywood or... Improv's easy now. I'm not talking to you. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. So do you have a theme? Like sometimes people have themes as a comedian. They generally talk about particular. I do. I am very self-deprecating. Because I learned that, you know, I don't like to take life too seriously. You gotta make a joke out of it. You know, life is too short to be all serious and uptight all the time. So I, I get myself into interesting situations. And I don't know how I find myself in these situations, but I guess I'm, I'm a say yes person if someone asks me to go do something, I'm like, sure, why not? And then that leads me at an orthodontic convention on a second date. You know, what are you gonna do? I'm sorry, what are you gonna do? What are dating is <laughs> Who takes you to an orthodontic convention? I know, it's true, it's true. Just okay. say yes. Just Might say yes. Any free whitening uh, experience yeah. or something? I mean, the yeah. <laughs> goal is to get Don't Invisalign. Know. I was yeah. trying to make it my husband that weekend and said he made me a paying customer. Yeah. Unfortunate. He pulled me into his office and was like, here's a bill for your for your treatment. Oh, nice. I he endorsed you. Yeah. I was like, this is BS. 
Hopefully, at least there was a hefty discount involved. Oh, uh, there was an open bar, so it was fun. <laughs> so what have you learned about being funny and about comedy in the process? Because I think, you know, I'm always interested in how people come up with their creative ideas. Like, is it just that you base it all on real life? But I'm sure you've learned a lot. I base it all on real life. Yeah. Obviously, I'm an exaggerator, yeah. so I exaggerate <laughs> things sometimes. But uh, just for the sake of the joke. But everything stems from my own experience. Mm -hmm. And you do learn. You have to know your audience, you know. I'm... You have to know where you are. Like I did, I, this is a hard experience, but I did a show in San Diego and I told all these jokes about LA and thinking that- That'd be funny. It'd be funny because San Diego's close enough to LA. You don't realize like there's a lot of people in San Diego that never went to LA. Mm -hmm. So they, they just like didn't get my humor, which is fine. But you learn after so many times of doing it, yeah. uh, what works and what doesn't. Who are your favorite comedians? I love Ali Wong. I love Chris D'Elia. I love Whitney Cummings, um, Sebastian Menescalco is really funny, Bobby Lee is funny. Those are five of my favorites. Very so, heavily influenced by Dave Chappelle as well. Like, grew up as a kid, I would watch Dave Chappelle with my dad. <laughs> what's your What's your five year game plan for yourself? Where do you see yourself? I would love to have a Netflix special in five years. Okay. I would also love to be the star of a TV show as an actress. I'm an actress first before comedian. Um, I think I'm better at acting than I am at stand up, but I love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> second one, second goal's already accomplished. You're on yep. the show. Yes, yes, that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Talk yeah. show. Yeah, that's emotion right. creates emotion. That's true. That's, that's a great. quote by yeah. Andy Waltman. Well, where, where can they find your show? My show? Mm -hmm. On Focus TV. Okay, and are you doing it, particular days of the week, or what are you doing? Uh, I, just uh, Mondays. We'll release every Monday. Okay, cool. Yeah. And where can people find you personally? On personally on Instagram, I'm at Ren Woods, W-R-E-N-N-W-O-O-D-S. Um, I'm on Facebook. You can just search my name. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, it's a different name, so I don't think there are other Redwoods out don't there. Don't need to add the official at the end like I did. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so sad. It's, so sad. <laughs> yeah. it's endearing. Yes. Well, thank you so much. We're so excited yeah, to celebrate you. Too. And welcome you to the family. Thank you so much. Welcome. This has been fun. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more on Good Morning La La Land.